Hey y'all, don't mind how crazy I look right now, please. This week, as you guys can tell by the title, is going to be my maintenance week. Well, it's actually gonna be a two day vlog. <laughs> well, so today is the day before my trip. I leave tomorrow. Um, it is Tuesday, July 9th, and I have, I'm going to do my own lashes right now after I blow dry my hair. I haven't done my skin routine either. I only wash my face, so that's why I look dry and musty right now. But yeah, we're going to just blow dry our hair and do our lashes. It's 9.19 a.m., and my nail appointment's at 11, so I have to leave here in about an hour and 10 minutes. Um, so I have time. But I need to hurry up at the same time because, yeah, I don't want to be running late. I want to get there, like, early. I'm going to do my own lashes. I do lash clusters. Today I'm using, I have a lot, actually. I'm using the B&Q lash clusters. Um, it goes from 8 to 18. They're in my TikTok showcase. My TikTok is down below. Yeah, these are, these give me more volume and fluff natural look more than any of the lashes i've tried so i have the mio um leave-in conditioner and then i have the mio um hair oil that everybody knows about everybody knows about if you don't know about it that's crazy but yeah love mio down basically i was supposed to go to a different hairstylist that i found last minute because the other hairstylist had attitude with me like when i'm asking questions she had attitude she called me love and all that stuff like with the in a rude way like if you saw the messages like i'm not tripping y'all everybody was telling me yeah why she being rude i was being so nice to her just asking questions because it's my first time with her because my normal hair tech doesn't do this hairstyle so because i would have chose her real quick i actually found someone after that girl was being rude i found someone finally but like you know everybody's books be getting packed by the end of june and it was the end of june last week of june um so i finally found somebody who was open today but she canceled on me last night it was like i sprained my ankle i thought it was gonna be ready i don't know why she didn't tell me when she sprained her ankle so that i could just be looking for somebody and if i if i like if I lost an appointment with her, I lost an appointment with her, but it's just, it's just like, I don't know. I feel like it was just so last minute, so last night I had to look, and I found, like, that this hair braiding spot in Bowie takes two hours. I hate sitting down and getting my hair done. I can't stay still. I don't know what it is, but I can't stay still. I really can't stay still. I get so annoyed by sitting there for hours, and I'll probably fall asleep in your chair because I don't like sitting there for hours. Anyways, we're done putting everything in our hair, so we're going to blow dry it, and I'm going to talk to y'all when I'm doing my lashes. hey y'all we're out the nail tech's house so these are the nails i just got some french tips they look super cute they're longer than i usually do but i like them they look so cute you can never go wrong with the little french tip you know what i mean french tips always give grown and sexy <laughs> we're gonna head to the nail the hair shop um, I'm gonna post the nails first and then I also need to send something to someone. Hey y'all, so my hair frizzed out, bro. I hope that's not an issue, bruh. But I'm here um at the shop. There's three shops actually, which is kind of tough. Like you can go to either shop. I'm gonna go in the first one since that's the one the TikTok person had the TikToker has said in her video. 
um but i'm gonna talk to you guys when i get back and show you guys the results it's one right now let's see what time i get back to y'all all right well it's 12 57 but it's one <laughs> Hey y'all, this is mad awkward because there's somebody next to me. But here's the hair, it looks so good. I got Smitty and Boho, 100% um, human hair, it was 300. And um, these are, they curled it at the end. It was supposed to be like here, but they said my hair too long, got that hang time. So it's a little bit longer, but it's still like a cute shoulder, like short length. I wanted to try something different because I'm gonna get braids like longer. I was like thinking about getting boho when I dye my hair and go back to school. Ow. But that's probably gonna be like hella. I mean like a repetitive thing. You don't really wanna be like repetitive and do it again. If I'm being honest. But they broke my bank account. I'm not gonna lie. I wanna get some tacos, but they broke my bank account. So I went in, it's 4.30 now by the way, I forgot to say that. I went in at 1, but we started around 1.30 after they got me a stylist and I talked to her about what style I wanted and she prepped the hair and all that stuff. It took about like 30 minutes for all that. And so she started at like 1.30. They were so sweet, bro, I can't lie. They were the sweetest. But I started at 1.30 and then we ended I got back in the car by 4.30. I feel like they were done braiding by 4. So that gives one thirty two thirty two two and a half hours is how long we took. And it says like they charge like a $5 fee, but they didn't even say nothing when I didn't do it. I only did the price that they gave me. I didn't do the fee that's listed in there. They have like $5 fees for everything, like anything you pay. And I'm like, mm, but like they don't really care because they didn't say anything because I wasn't about to pay that fee. I went to the first one to ask. I just told them the style I wanted. Then they got me a stylist. Her name was Angela. She was so cute. She's from Cameroon and she's only been there for three months and she's trying to eat this up. And she has somebody help her. Everybody had two people on their hair or three. I probably would go again if I'm getting braids done because it's like a quick stop and all that it didn't feel long at all but it was too much money and if i got it longer it would have been more money so it's like should i even go my butt is burning like literally my butt is burning i hate sitting in one place for hours i don't sit on my butt bro Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. I'll talk to you guys when I pack tomorrow morning. I'm actually packing tomorrow morning instead of today. I know that's bad. Actually, since I'm not I'm not out all night like I was thought I was gonna be, I'll probably pack tonight. But I really just I might just put the outfits together and then pack it all in my bag tomorrow morning because we leave for our flight around like two, I think. So I do have some time. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow and see you guys at the airport and all of that. And I can't wait to vlog Amsterdam for you guys. Even though the weather sucks right now, we're still gonna live it up, have fun, period. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Wednesday, July 9th now. And sorry, I'm taking my braids so I don't look crazy in front of you guys. And I'm just packing. Now, um, I took care of most of my outfits. I do need, I didn't know I was just doing a carry-on, so my mom is gonna run to the dollar store and get like small bottles for me to use. Because I need my skincare and stuff. Ooh, a perfume bottle is what I need. Do they sell those at the dollar store? I could have gotten these on Amazon, I'm so bad. Cause I'm just finding out last minute. Let me look it up because my perfumes are like not small enough for a carry-on and i want to bring my perfume that matches my lotion and stuff so we're doing breakfast first and i'm just gonna wear this Shein set just a 
bandeau top and some leggings because we're probably gonna walk around since we don't have any plans for the whole day until later that night next is night out outfit i'm wearing this dress from pretty little thing and my rick owens um i already have the purse i'm gonna have to re-wear purses because nah actually no. <laughs> i'm not going on a boat cruise because it looks like it's raining that day but if we do i'm just wearing this bodysuit and this like maxi skirt and i know it's gonna be 60 degrees but I bought these outfits for this trip and I'm wearing them. All I'm gonna do is be a little chubby. Okay, so this is the outfit that I need to rethink the museum outfit. But we have the Thames outfit. We're just wearing these jeans from Pretty Little Thing and this top that comes with it. Well, it doesn't come with it, you guys, but it's a set. It's okay. I'm bringing a big duffel bag. I never put anything, like a lot of stuff in my like personal bag, so it's fine. I'm gonna make it work. Hey y'all, so we're packing my skincare. I got my mini cleanser water, my mini, I'm gonna go in order. So we have my toner, we have the serum, Wash, sunscreen, it's three ounces, and then we have this. This is four ounces, so I don't want to risk it, so I'm gonna pour it in this spray bottle I got from the dollar store. Here, we're just gonna, at least we're gonna pour it back. I don't think I need all that, but I'm gonna just keep it halfway. Okay, that's all my skincare stuff. Now I'm gonna pack my okay, and it's in this little cute skin baggie. Super cute. Um, I need to pack my cotton pads because we use disposable tissue paper. Face towels, I mean. Alright, because this is not gonna fit, so we're definitely just gonna put a whole bunch of them. toothbrush and toothpaste in that then in 30 minutes because I have extra. These are my tongue scrapers. I'm out of breath, sorry. And I usually use a water flosser, but I'm going to have to bring my actual flosses since, you know, I'm not trying to bring, bring this big old water flosser. Okay, so I'm going to put my body butter my deodorant um i think that's all we need and then perfume well let me get my vitamins okay 
I need to do my makeup. I didn't wash my makeup brushes! This is our spray. Let me throw that out. Okay. Let's go in order. So we have foundation. Foundation. Concealer. I'll bring a bright concealer just in case. Then we need blush. Let's see what the colors are. Yeah, I'll just bring these two. Blush. We need our primers. If I need light makeup, I'm gonna bring this foundation stick. My bronzer, my blush and bronzer. Um, our setting stuff. I'm gonna bring a white one since these aren't clean. I'm gonna bring this because I like to do it on my um, eyebrows. We're gonna bring powder. I think we're missing something, but that should be all of it. you make stuff fit in here so we packed the suitcase now we just gotta pack our personal bag but I think I'm gonna talk to you guys when we get in the car or when we get there to the airport so I can hurry up and get this done